Hey guys, and what is up, and welcome back to more Marvel Blast Ultra. In the last episode, we took on the final 10 levels of the beginner stages. The final 10 levels of the beginner levels. That's redundant, but that's beside the point. Today, we're going to take on the first 10 of the intermediate levels, and more death will be coming, so look forward to that. As you can see, I'm going to try to be speedrunning it. You guys wanted me to speedrun it, so I'm going to go ahead and start with Mountain Top Retreat, I believe the name of this one and this one is a fairly simple and laid-back level not too difficult but eh, I don't know like it gets a little bit more difficult now but I wouldn't say any of the um, Super jump. levels in the intermediate level <laughs> God I need to stop talking about how things are not hard Super jump. and talk about more like actually beating the game but anyway so as you see here there's this little spot over here if I can oh wow I'm surprised I got that but it contains some time travel uh, power-ups and a speed power-up speed power-ups a little bit trolly because there's the finish uh, you don't really need the speed power-up if you use it you go off the edge and it's it's dumb and it's stupid and I still haven't beat my I was 10 seconds off my best time that's horrible yeah whatever the next is urban jungle so uh, this is gonna be one of them Jim Jimmy Jimmy get the cattle there's a storm approaching! <laughs> ah, this is one of those gym levels. That's why I said Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Uh, so, I get like five of them. And they're scattered about. 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 Why are Canadian accents so funny? I'll never know! Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die. I'm very surprised I didn't die as I almost jump off the edge. I wonder what this does. Well, oh, hey! That's what this does. Tell a little Easter egg. You're cute. And we'll fall down there. That was interesting, considering I actually didn't even see that ever before in my life. So, the things you learn when you're recording. But anyway, this series has been really popular, surprisingly. I'm so surprised that everyone liked it. Get up the hill, Marble! Marble, what the hell, man? What the hell? Ah, damn, Marble. Come on. Come on, you can do it! You can do it just a little more! Push it! Yes! Oh, God, yes, Marble, you did it! Oh, I'm so- ah! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, Marble, why? <laughs> you were going so well, and then all of a sudden you just decided you wanted to be an ass and not- Get up the hill! Fuck! Already? Really, Marble? We're gonna play this game already? We're gonna play this game already? Come on! Just cooperate, man. Just cooperate. Okay. Alright, so the finish is back up here. Uh, ironically, the finish is, like, right where we started. So, that's cool. And there we go, and we finished in 1 minute and 21 seconds. I really want to take a sip of this drink that I have. It's just like new- Oh, new best time! Ha! Ah! Ah, ha Makes me happy. Okay, gauntlet. This level, a little bit more difficult now, because we're going to have to avoid things that says don't get clobbered. It's clobber, clobber. I don't know. Clobbered, it reminds me of Conkolder from Pokemon Black and White. I don't know why. Just Every time I think clobber, I think like getting hit with one of those Conkolder girders. Which is why they call him Girder, because he's holding a metal girder, and it's kind of funny, because nobody really gets that. I don't think. Anyway, we gotta avoid the boxes! No! Okay, alright, I think we're good. Oh, no, 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 no! Damn it! Come on, now. Alright, we got this. We got this. Just... Oh! The fuck? I almost had it! <laughs> Come on. Alright. That was stupid. Come on, marble! Yeah! Uh-oh. Okay. Uh Come on! Get on there! Okay, good. Uh, and these basically alternate. No, they don't. What am I doing? What am I doing? I regret nothing! Actually, I regret everything! <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's always a pleasure. And we almost missed that. I like how we're like hitting the face of them, but then we actually still make it. But, yeah, that's that level. Your little explodey thing. I really want something to drink, but I'm not. I, will, I must refuse. My best time is 41 seconds, so, yeah. All right, so 23 seconds is the best time on this one. This one's a little bit tricky, because you have to use the uh, the gravity modif modifiers, <laughs> as I almost kill myself. Everything's super slow, but at least we can get a grip on everything. Get it? Because we have to get a grip. See, jumping does wonders on those uh, grippy sections, so. Oh, boy. That would have been... Quite a ruckus if I had missed that. I would have been really upset with myself. I have 
been known to do that though, where I've just like rolled straight past the uh the the gravity modifier. <laughs> At motherfucker. I damn it. Gotta do it again. All right, let's not do that again. Whew. There's no checkpoint in this level, which which really bothers me. It's like, how are you not gonna give me a checkpoint? Um, there was no gravity modifier there. Game, you have some explaining to do. There was no gravity modifier. What was I supposed to do? I was just minding my own business, rolling down a hill, and then all of a sudden, herp derp, no gravity modifier. No, 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 there's not one there. There's not one there. Go back. Go back up the hill. There's not one there. Okay. I almost did it again. Because the last time I got a little bit reckless, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go down the hill anyway, and then there was no gravity modifier. I was like, oh dear, I think I'm going to die now. But this time there was, and I'm okay, and I caught myself. Where's the finish? Oh, okay, it's on that side. There was one finish where it was like you had to like fly through it while it was on a weird angle, and wow, that was horrible. All right, so our next level skyscraper it involves moving platforms, and moving platforms are so glitchy in this game. It's not even funny. They're super glitchy. You'll see, probably not in this level specifically, but maybe. <laughs> oh god, that's what happened. Ah, there it goes off the edge. I respond up here because reasons. I have no clue what I did, but it's bouncing. Stop that! Stop that! What the fuck? Fucking moving platforms of death. I can't catch a break. See, look, it, like, starts bouncing you for no reason, and then it'll, there's one where it just completely glitched me through the floor, so I got stuck in the floor, and I was just like, excuse me, but we have a problem here. Now, a lot of people don't get this, but you have to fall, like, by the side here, and then the next little platform's slowly going to make its way over here. Now, they get smaller as they get higher. I, uh... Uh, the taller it gets, the smaller it gets. And eventually, they can only fit one ball. That's right. Two balls cannot fit on one platform. That means you have to sacrifice a ball if you have two. Whoops. Uh, where's this one? Come here. Thank you, slow-moving platform. Man, a lot of people have been telling me they have this game on the uh, arcade. And I'm really happy for that, because I did not expect that many people to have it that were subscribed to me. I was, like, mildly surprised. I was like, oh, hey. That's cool. Few people have it. <laughs> oh. So this is actually a funny thing. This isn't as small as it actually gets. It, uh, we have to go on this thing and then watch this. This is the worst thing ever in the history of everything. I hate falling onto that piece of shit. It's so annoying because it's so tiny. And then if you don't hit it right in the middle, bounce off the wall, you fall off the edge. Now I was playing this in practice and I did that. Like five times where I just went, whoops, I'm off the edge now. So, like that! Fucking shit! Can we not cooperate properly, please? Thank you. Oh boy, I am. I have been stressed the past two days. My parents have, or my mother has been. I lost my job at the, the, the restaurant. Not lost my job, but I couldn't work for a month because of. Uh, basically, I had to take care of my mom in that neck surgery, like you guys. Remember, I finally did it, and as you guys remember, and oh yeah, by the way, it gets worse. This thing is tiny, but as you guys remember, I had to take care of my mom when she had her surgery on her neck, and so I couldn't work for that month at Zaxby's or whatever, and uh, so they hired someone to work the days that I normally worked. I'm not a fan of this level, as you can tell already. Uh, and basically what ended up happening is when I went to try to go get hours, they were like, well, we hired too many people, so you can't work. And yeah, that's how that ended, you motherfucker. Yeah, let's just fly off. Does this thing move? Oh, fucking hell, it moves. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, see, there it is. There it is. I glitched through the floor. Is that it? Was that it? Really? Yeah, I don't remember it being that simple. I missed my best time by 200, two tenths of a second! All right, my best time on this one's 10 seconds, but you'll see why. It's not necessarily that I did it in 10 seconds, but uh, I believe there's time bonuses here, so uh, let's see. Yeah, there is. Like right here, there's a time bonus. 
you pick that up, and then we're like, woo, and we're going around in circles, and we're gonna jump over things, because that's what we do, because we're cool. And did I beat my time? I don't know. Survey says. Yes, we did. Okay, sweet. Our next level, sledding, ice physics for the fail, and bumpers. All right, so you could just be cool and god damn it. Let's try this again. Jumping in slippery areas can help your navigation. That's what I do, because I'm a cool kid who jumps off edges. All right, come on. Jumping in slippery areas can help your navigation. Uh, ding. Come on. Oh, don't touch it. Son of a bitch. Can we, can we just like not fuck up? That'd be grand. I would love it if we could actually do something the right way. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, I can't do that because I have to get the freaking... Ugh. It frustrates me. This... Oh, wow. So I do it the super complex way, and I get it. But I, I try to do it normally, and it fails. Okay, so at least we got through the... First thing, mother... Okay, don't hit the bumper on the way down! Gah! Okay, at least we respawned up here. That was fun. So, you can try to do this the right way. Oh my gosh. Come here. All right. I believe we have it. I believe we have it. Go back, back, back. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Oh, all right. Did I just, did I just suicide myself? Mother loving pants on fire. Come on. All right, let's, let's jump down here like normal people. And we got it. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. We have a super jump here. Super jump. We're gonna use it to jump over ever. No! 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 I didn't know there was a thing down there. Oh shit! I'm dead. Oh, let's do this again. Here we go. Rolling to our death. Maybe if we actually could play the game, Jeff, that'd be great. If we could. We could not roll. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Okay. I thought I was gonna die there again. I was like, I'm just getting a little bit more than frustrated with this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, uh, jump again. Right in the middle. Land in the middle. Land in the middle. Roll down the hill to the finish. I, if I had rolled past the level, I would have just thrown the controller and walked away. Although I can't, because in my current setup, I'm kind of stuck. Wow. That was definitely not our best time. All right, level 29, our next to last level is the road less traveled. This level's decently easy. There's no bumpers. There's no bumpers, so we don't run the risk of castrating ourselves this time. Thank goodness, because I can only castrate myself so many times before it starts to, like, you know, not work anymore when I reattach it. <laughs> Why must these levels be so devious? And it, it, this level is actually relatively easy. We have enough speed here to make this loop without dying. Oh, well, we got the checkpoint before we died, so I guess that's okay. This level, this part of the level already always bothers me because I try to jump the right way, and then sometimes I don't do it right, and then sometimes I do, and then, you know what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Trap doors. And, oh, this is the level where it goes underneath, and it trolled me the one time. I was like, oh, hey. How are we gonna get down there? And then I was like, oh, okay. It's like, yeah. Did I really not get my best time by five tenths of a second? Anyway, the final level for this episode <laughs> is aim high. So you can see my best time's four seconds. You're wondering how I got that. You're like, Jeff, how do you get four seconds on a level that requires you to get three gems? And I'm like, well, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I hurt, but derp, but derp. If I can get all the time travels. Okay, I got all of them. Sweet. So we got all those time travels running down there, and then we can just jump up here. Basically, if we don't die, I can get to the goal before the time bonus actually runs out. Get in at 438. That's what I'm talking about. If you didn't you, oh, blow up for yes, woo! I beat my time. So happy. That's it for this episode. If you like it, give it a like. If you enjoyed me blowing my brains out over dying, give it a like as well. Um, you don't have to, but go ahead. I'm going to drink a glass of water. I'm going to begin recording the next 10 levels. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.